Hello, this is Brian Jones, uh, working on the Metal Project at Swans University, and I'm going to talk about transfer modes in arc welding. Metal transfer in mag welding basically involves the detachment and movement of molten metal from the tip of the electrode to the weld pool in the workpiece, where metal transfer can be defined as a free flight transfer mode. The metal being transferred ranges from small droplets, smaller than the diameter of the electrode, to droplets which are much larger than the diameter of the electrode. The mechanism of transferring liquid metal across the arc gap is controlled by the plasma jet, gravity, surface tension and electromagnetic forces which together provide what's called the pinch effect. The pinch force, the force which is related to the square of the arc current, reduces the cross-section of the molten metal drop near the tip of the electrode and thus helps the detachment of the molten tip. When the molten tip drops is about to detach, the magnetic forces act away from the point of necking in both directions. The drop which has started to separate will be given a push as a consequence of this, which increases the rate of separation. There are four types of metal transfer, spray, globular, short circuit and pulse, where the mode of transfer is, is directly related to the square of the arc current. Spray transfer, which occurs at a relatively high current, is a smooth transfer uh, mode of molten metal droplets into the weld pool. It occurs in an inert gas atmosphere with a minimum of 80% argon shielding gas. Only small droplets are formed which transfer across the arc at relatively high frequency. As the current increases, the drop size decreases because the force increases, and therefore the frequency of drops increase. The deposition rate and efficiency is relatively high. The arc itself is smooth, stable and stiff, and the weld bead has a nice appearance and a good wash into the sides. A large amount of heat is involved, which creates a large weld pool with good penetration, but this can make it difficult to control the process. At lower currents than for spray transfer, the metal transfer mode is called globular transfer. This transfer mode occurs when using a carbon dioxide shielding gas. The globule grows typically to one and a half to three times the size of the electro tip before transferring across the arc in an irregular path. The drop splashes into the well pool and produces much more spatter than is the case with spray transfer. The detachment of flight across the arc is random, of relatively low frequency, and takes place at a relatively low current density compared to spray transfer. The resulting well deposit is not as smooth as that for spray transfer. For the welding of thin materials, which is, which is extremely difficult using spray or globular transfer modes because of the amount of materials deposited in the, zel or in the weld zone, requires a short circuiting mode of transfer, using again a lower current setting than for globular transfer. In this mode, the electrode is feeding at such a high relative rate that the molten tip will periodically come into contact with a molten weld pool. This short circuit creates a bridge across the gap between the electrode and the molten pool, and the arc is extinguished. Molten metal is transferred from the electrode by the surface tension of the well pool, which draws the molten metal off the electrode tip into the well pool itself. The electrode will then separate from the well pool and re-establish the arc. There is a, a certain amount of weld spatter involved with short circuit transfer, uh, however, the well pool is relatively small compared to the other transfer modes and is more easily controlled. The shielding gas in this case for steel is normally carbon dioxide or typically 75% argon, 25% carbon, uh, carbon dioxide. In the pulse spray transfer mode, uh, which contains um, a high current density followed by a lower current density pulse, of current, one drop of metal transfers across the arc at a frequency range of 30 to 400 pulses per second, which is controlled by the, by the settings on the equipment. 
Uh, the low-level current is sufficient, essentially, to maintain the arc. It allows the welding of thin materials and uses an 85 to 90% argon-rich shielding gases. It is the recommended process for high-quality precision welding, for semi-automatic application, or when robotic welding is used. The pulse spray metal transfer mode gives spray transfer characteristics at a much lower average current. This reduces penetration and the size of the molten weld pool, giving greater control of the development of the weld itself.